Hello, my name is Alex Smith and I work on the editorial team at Oxford University Press. Welcome to my digital book version 2. My digital book has the complete student's book and workbook in interactive digital format. For English Plus, it also has the pronunciation section and the Culture and Clill video activity book, which are only available in digital format. These extra sections are only available on my digital book and may differ between course books. You access the books from the Books tab. Open a book, open a unit, and go to the page you want. To turn the page, you can go back to the Books tab and choose the next page. Or you can use these arrows to take you backwards and forwards. You can also use the keyboard like this to go to the page you want. You can also switch to single page view by using this button or switch back to double page view. Now let me show you the icons on the page and the tools that you'll be using. Touch the audio icon to access the listening exercises. In the audio player, you can open the transcript and read while listening to the recording. You could also listen to reading texts while you read. Build up B. Page 8. Exercise 2. Listen and check. Excuse me, where is the music room? It's on the second floor next to the science lab. This is the interactive exercise icon. Touch this icon to access the interactive exercises or karaoke. In English Plus, the karaoke is on the practical English pages. In the interactive exercises, students' answers are checked automatically. On the teacher's edition, you have the option to see next answer or see all answers. Check answer. See next answer. or see all answers. When you open the audio player, video player or interactive exercise, it can be moved around like this so you can still see the page. You can also cover the page to focus on the audio, video or interactive exercise. You can move quickly and easily between books and sections of the books. For example, touch the page link signpost from the unit opener to go to the plus section. Or touch the pronunciation signpost to access the pronunciation section interactive exercises. Touch the video signpost to access the video material. You can also show or hide the transcript and navigate within it and show or hide subtitles and make the video full screen. There are four countries in the United Kingdom, England, 
Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The capitals of these countries are big, exciting cities. In London, there are a lot of famous places. Touch the Grammar Bank signpost to go to the corresponding Grammar Bank page for full grammar explanations and tables. Touch the workbook signpost to go to the corresponding pages there for more homework practice. On the teacher's edition of every My Digital book, touch the answer key icon to show the answers to any exercise. In the pop-up box, you can show the answers one by one, see all answers, or hide the answers. Also on the teacher's edition, touch the interactive exercise icon on the grammar table for classroom grammar presentations. As well as the interactivity on the pages themselves, you can use the toolbox instruments to make your lessons more interactive. For example, there's a pen. And you can erase what you've done. Or clear the screen. You can also zoom in on the page or reset to normal view. You can highlight text Shade the screen or spotlight part of the page. You can also add a post it note or even add a web link. Now let me take you through a unit of English Plus. Lesson 1. Vocabulary and Grammar. On the first double page or lesson of the unit, audio and interactive exercises are included. For example, this listen and check exercise. His invention was the saxophone. Two. Grammar presentations are also interactive, and where appropriate, there are interactive practice exercises. After the grammar presentation, go to the grammar bank section for a full explanation and practice exercises in class. At the end of each lesson or spread, go to the workbook for more interactive exercises.
Lesson two, reading and grammar. On the second spread or lesson of the unit, use the audio icon to listen to the text while you read. Unit five, page 52, exercise one. Listen. Sorry, what's your name? 1,000 years ago, the population of England was small. There are further interactive exercises and the second grammar presentation. The interactive features are similar for each of these grammar presentations in the unit. Lesson 3. Vocabulary and listening. On the third spread or lesson of the unit, use the audio icon to do the listening activities. There are further interactive exercises. and the third grammar presentation. At the end of the third spread, there's also a dictation activity with audio and with answer keys on the teacher's version. Unit 5, page 55, exercise 10. Listen to the questions. 1. Who invented the saxophone? 2. Lesson 4. Practical English and Writing. Here you can use the audio icon to listen to the practical English dialogue. Unit 5, page 56, exercise 2. Listen. Hi Tina, how was your trip? Oh, great thanks. I was in London. Really? What was London like? It was cool. The shops were amazing. There's also a karaoke version of the dialogue. Listen. Hi, Tina. How was your trip? Oh, great, thanks. I was in London. Really? What was London like? The students can follow the dialogue. Each workbook unit has lots of interactive exercises, including dictation. Now, let's look at the plus section at the back of the student's book and workbook. You can reach the plus section from the beginning of each unit. or you can reach the plus section from the books tab. Everyday listening and speaking. Here you can listen to all the dialogues with the option of following the transcripts. Everyday listening and speaking. Unit 5. Page 206. Exercise 2. Listen. 1. Was it a good game? Yes, we won. Culture and Clill. Here you can listen to and read the texts. Touch the page link at the bottom of the page to go to the video activity book and watch the video clips.
For hundreds of years, the Celts were the most powerful people in Britain. There's also a link to the corresponding unit of the student's book. Literature. There is also audio and interactive exercises in the literature section to bring the extracts to life. Literature B. The Wife of Bath's Tale. Page 222. Exercise 5. Read and listen to the next part of the story. So Tarquin went from village to village and town to town. Here are the resources. Each My Digital book has lots of extra material to use with the course. Most of the resources for English Plus are similar to those provided on other course book My Digital books. The teacher's edition of My Digital book has some extra resources which the student's version doesn't have. 1. Student's book and workbook audio. This section contains all the audio for the student's book and workbook exercises so that it can be accessed without going to the relevant page. The teacher's edition also contains all the audio transcripts in Word so they can be printed or adapted for extra activities. 2. Video. This section contains all the video clips from the course and the video activity book as a printable PDF for students to use. The teacher's edition also has PDFs of all the video transcripts and video activity book keys. 3. Word lists. This section contains the workbook unit word lists with audio and translation, the student's book irregular verb list with audio, the student's book pronunciation guide and punctuation guide with audio, the student's book glossary as a printable PDF with a link to the full Oxford 3000 list. Four dictionary activities. This section contains interactive dictionary exercises for use with the Oxford Word Power or Advanced Learner's Dictionary depending on the level. The teacher's edition also has the activities in Word and a PDF of the teacher's notes and keys. 5. Pronunciation. This section is particular to English Plus and contains the pronunciation activities as a printable PDF. The teacher's edition also has the keys as a printable PDF. 6. Recupero or revision. This section contains a PDF of the Recupero exercises from the teacher's resource book, which students can print off and use directly. The teacher's edition also has the keys as a printable PDF. 7. Extra resources. This section contains the alphabet with audio, the phonetic chart with audio, numbers 1 to 100 with audio, an interactive clock, printable maps from the student's book, and, depending on the course book and level, the teacher's edition of this section also contains a video of students doing the speaking part of the Cambridge English Preliminary Test, PET. Again, depending on the course book, there is also a multiple choice entry test and quick marking strip, which can be printed off and used as many times as required. 8. External links. Here, there are web links to the Oxford 3000 list and Espansione online. 
9, Help. This section contains a PDF with visual help for my digital book. This has been a quick tour of English Plus My Digital Book. I've shown you the most important features that it contains. Take your time to explore it and you'll see how effective it is and how easy it is to use. I hope you enjoy it.